I think that it's really good that they have a toilet for you to use at Amersham Station for when you really do need to use the toilet. It's good. It's clean. Everything works. There was soap, which actually smells nice. And the hand dryer is one of those like really harsh ones that goes, ooh, yeah. So it really does get your hands dry. We are on our way to Amersham, but to get there, we have to change at Harrow on the Hill. We're at Harrow on the Hill and we've just taken that Metropolitan Line train here. Now we could catch another one going to Amersham, but no, we are going to do things slightly differently because trains on the Chiltern Line also run from here to Amersham. But to do that, we need to change platform. So let's go. So we've got the stairs behind us here. So I think it's platforms, yeah, it says mainline trains, platforms one and two. So we are walking through the, the stairwell area, sort of, and the ticket barrier area of Har on the Hill. Ah. Now it says here, Metropolitan Line, all Amersham and Chesham trains will depart from platform three. But we want to get the Chiltern Line. So it should be down here. Let's go take a look. So we are at Harrow on the Hill and we're going to take one, two, three, four stops. Now wait, it says there's a card reader here, but I don't think we have to use that because we have already tapped in. So wait, what does this say? So we just asked the lady upstairs whether we needed to tap onto the card reader. And we don't because we are still traveling within TFL zones. So we start in Uxbridge and we've just basically swapped onto the main line at Harrow and the Hill, but we're still going to be finishing our journey within TFL boundaries at Amersham. So we're okay. You can also take the Chiltern Railways to London Marlebone from Harrow on the Hill. And an interesting point on these platforms is that they use the London Underground TFL roundel because this is, after all, a TFL station. This is the London Marlebone service coming in. That's not the one we need. But it'll give us a good indication of where the train probably stops on the other platform. So 
So as the Marlebon service departs, our train is due in one minute. That's good. I thought I saw some steam coming off there. It's diesel. All right. And here it comes. So let's get into position. No, it's not a terribly long train. Turn right. Well, we've moved a bit further down where there's more room. And the thing is, it's got that classic smell of a really old style Chiltern Railways train. And that's unique to Chiltern. this they even have two cup holders for your tea or coffee the good thing about taking the children line to Amersham is, is that it's only four stops whereas it would be more than double that on the Metropolitan line And you do get a bit more space on here, so it's a slightly more enjoyable ride. Maybe not at busy times though. The next station is Rickmansworth. Please mind the gap between the train and the platform when leaving the train. Oyster card users are reminded to touch out on the card readers before leaving the station. The next station is Chorley Wood. Oyster card users are reminded to touch out on the card readers before leaving the station. This train is for Aylesbury Vale Parkway. The next station is Chalfont and Latimer. The next station is Chalfont and Latimer. Please change here for London Underground Services to Cheshire. Oyster card users are reminded to touch out on the card readers before leaving the station. The next station is the final station to which Oyster cards are valid on this service. The next station is Amersham. Oyster card users are reminded to touch out on the card readers before leaving the station. If you see something that doesn't look right, speak to staff or text British Transport Police on 61016. Real sorted. See it, say it, sorted. I quite enjoyed that ride on Children's Railways. These trains are really noisy. It's the diesel as they start up. And that one is on its way now to Aylesbury Vale Parkway, I think it is. Oh, smell it as well. Oh, but wow. we are going to explore Emerson. You can see that the Metropolitan Line is here as well. This is where it terminates and um, we could take this back but you know something later on I am inclined to take children the way down towards Harrow and the hill again and then we'll transfer on to the Metropolitan Line to go back to Uxbridge but we'll check the timetable when we go out is it open yes it is 
I think that it's really good that they have a toilet for you to use at Amersham Station for when you really do need to use the toilet. It's good. It's clean. Everything works. There was soap, which actually smells nice. And the hand dryer is one of those like really harsh ones that goes, ooh, ooh, ooh. yeah, so it really does get your hands dry. Here comes the northbound Chiltern Line service going to Marlebone. And look, there's Paul getting some shots of the train from platform level. Now I have to crouch down a bit because that is the view that you see if you're standing up. So I'm afraid it is a bit awkward. Doors are closing and these diesel trains make a real big rev up before they go like this. Oh, quite a smell coming off it as well. There's the exhaust and off it goes. Come on, Paul. Oh, all right. <laughs> so there's a few information leaflets. You've got the tube map here, but I quite like the look of this. This is the Buckinghamshire Railway Centre, and I can remember that we did go there once before a few years ago it's got the uh, the old signal box restoration shed all the usual sort of bits and pieces that you'd find at a heritage railway and where is it actually <laughs> no idea it's, uh quinton that's right i think we actually had to drive there mm -hmm. it's near Aylesbury, uh because it's not on a mainline station but it's good that they have these leaflets and i'm going to keep this one because you never know we might visit sometime If you think that our show is absolutely smashing, then please subscribe. And what is it called again? It's Paul and Marcus on YouTube. And it's absolutely delicious. We've just come out of the station and we had a little chat with one of the staff. I thought he was going to tell us to stop filming, but he didn't <laughs> actually. He was just really interested in the channel and he might even subscribe. So we're walking along Hill Avenue now, and I think this takes us up to the main set of shops. Indeed, there's a sign that just says shops and toilets. Oh, okay. I sort of remember this area. Like... Well, the post office is over there. And what I remember about Amership is that many years ago, um, we came here a while ago to visit Woolworth when it was closing down because it was one of the last ones that closed in the London area and we did get a few bits and pieces but it was down to the bare bones of stuff at, at that time. Uh, they were also selling off the fixtures and fittings. Do you think they have anything to eat around here? Well they've got a subway over there and um, I'm sure there's other nice little cafes and everything Somewhere too. local and somewhere unique maybe? Mm, I can actually smell Subway, I'm really hungry now. And look, there is a big sorting office right here. Uh, yes indeed, so we've got the post office back there, the Royal Mail over here. We have the 
a beach house across over there serving food and drink day and night so that might be a good place to explore there's a super kebab house which does kebabs i would gather there is floral creations that does everything floral so that's a nice touch um this looks like um htr clothing so it has like um some menswear so i think that that might be good and it does say that it's open there's a dentist over here that does implant center so that's a good sign there is hill vision and a savills estate agent and there's a nat west across the street a nice little record shop called the record shop bike shop oh what's this sort of knickknacks it's sunday when we're here so a lot of the places are closed and it's sunday morning so they're more likely to be open later today if they are going to open today at all wow look at this they have got a miniature metropolitan line train and there's a bit of history about oh, wow. the metropolitan railway and the creation of amersham on the hill the metropolitan railway was the world's first underground railway when it opened in 1863 it had just seven stations in central London, but was soon extended, eventually reaching Amersham in 1892. The first official train service to Amersham departed at Baker Street at 10.47 a.m. on the 1st of September 1892. It arrived in Amersham less than an hour later at 11.36 a.m. Most of the towns and villages served by the Metropolitan Railways were small with agricultural economies, in order to boost income, the management decided to create traffic for the line and the idea of Metroland was born. I think that this is a really nice and well-preserved Metropolitan train. It's a really nice lifelike train and I think it goes to show what the craftsmanship was like and I think it is really nice and it's not lifelike and it's not um correct in size but it is rather magnificent so this sign says welcome to our replica of the metropolitan number one steam locomotive the locomotive was a mainstay of the metropolitan railway services to Aylesbury for 20 years it needed a crew of two to operate the driver who was in control of the scene and the fireman who shoveled coal into the firebox to generate steam. Along the high street, there is an M&S food. There's also a Greg's, a Little Waitrose and a WH Smith. And they're all grouped together. So it's quite easy to sort of walk around and go to all the shops. And it's not the first place that we've been to where we've seen two supermarkets next to each other. So you've got M&S there and Little Waitrose right here. But I'm gonna pop into WH Smith because I always like to check out the local press. And as it's a Sunday, I might even get some of my Sunday newspapers from Scotland. I find in these smaller towns on the outskirts of London that you can get Scottish newspapers on a Sunday. WH Smith didn't have them, but this little shop, RM Terry Newsagents, did. So I got a Sunday Post and a Sunday Mail. And I also picked up the Oxford Times and the Henley Standard. So that was quite a good find. We have come into Harris and Hool, which is on the high street just opposite the M&S and Waitrose, for some breakfast. And I'm having a breakfast uh, wrap, and Paul, you're having a bacon roll. Sausage. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I, I'm bacon on the on the brain. Sausage. Don't let the opportunity to subscribe slip away. Subscribe to It's Paul and Marcus on YouTube.
Where are we now, Paul? Out in the middle of nowhere, apparently. We're in this little woods and we've left Amersham behind. But Amersham's also ahead. I'm sorry? I yes. Understand. There are two Amershams. Did you know that? He did, actually. I do actually. now. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so the Amersham that we've left behind is the new town, but there's an old town as well. And if you're walking, you go along Rectory Hill and the road's just over there. But for us, we have to go along this little pathway through a wooded area. It's about a mile and it's a little bit damp underfoot today. Um, but if it rains and it has been spitting a little bit, at least yes. if you're here, you're not going to feel it as much and there is some shelter. Although if there's a thunderstorm and there is one in the forecast later, we might get struck by lightning. Hopefully we will be out of this area before that hits. You want to sit? No. I don't think it's, I don't think it has taken that long to get to this point. Well, it opens out now. Look at this. There's like a vast sort of area in front of us. And it looks rather sunny. Gosh, it's like a field. The sun has come out and there's a nice little proper path now coming up because look, this is still kind of all stony, but yeah. And look, wow, are you glad you did this now before us? Spreading out ahead of us is Amersham Old Town. Look at that. Oh, I see like this. Um what like a keep or something like a tower yeah but look we didn't walk down last time i think last time we drove or something yeah i don't remember this i don't think it's going to take us that long to get there but i think if we were to walk back it would probably take us maybe half an hour well at least it's been downhill oh, that's saying something. When was the last time we were in Amersham? A few years ago. What, like we about five? Bus. There's a bus that goes to Amersham Old Town, I think. Uh-huh. Uh, from... Huxbridge? Well, I think you have to change it to Jared Cross, perhaps, but... Yeah, yeah, I think we took like the 724 or something. But look at all this land. It's been ploughed. Yeah. <clears throat> Do you think we're almost there? You can see behind us where we've come from through that wooded area over there. And then this fantastic open field. I really don't want to be climbing up this thing. No, we're going to take the bus oh back. And if there is no bus, we're going to get a taxi, I think. Okay, problem solved. <laughs> what have you seen? I think these are allotments because it seems like there's like a lot of people growing stuff. Oh, like yeah. Partitioned. Yeah, you're right. Look at that. So lucky of them. And to think you are at the end of a London underground line, yet you're in the middle of the countryside here. And although we've been walking through someone's field or at the edge of it, <laughs> it's a public right of way, which means that you are allowed to walk along here. We're not breaking any laws, though. Mm -mm. Our dearly departed are also here. Who knows, by the time this episode airs, I oh. might also be dead. <laughs> Isn't it over there where the tower is? Yes. I can see the tower in the I distance. Oh, wow, look at this. A lovely little river. It's nice. And we've got the bridge here. And indeed there is that tower. I'm guessing that is a church. 
and it's got the uh, St. George flag flying on it. So we are near St. Mary's Cemetery and we're within like walking distance of Old Amersham Town Hall, which is I think where that is located. So I think that we have come out on the other side and I don't think it felt like a whole mile even though it seemed like it was going to be one mile. The parish church of St. Mary the Virgin. In the Diocese of Oxford, founded 1140. Well, we've arrived in Amerson Old Town. And what have you found, Paul? It's one of these pumps, right? Yeah, I think that it was from 1785. 1785. Indeed, it? yeah. But it's not operational today, is it? I am afraid that the well has certainly run dry. Look how quaint it is. So we've just passed the old market hall and we're walking down this street i'm not sure what the name of the street is actually it doesn't say over here we have the king's arms it looks a nice place for a bit of a drink i think that the cheese shop gershon and sons is open over here so it's a good place to suck up on any of those cheese plates i would say What's this? Oh look, I don't know. A weird mask? Does it look like me? Oh, there's a wasp after me. I love this as well, look at this. Amersham's Mobile Museum. Quite a fascinating vintage vehicle this is. I don't know about you, but Amersham seems to be like a weird little um, town. Well, it's got a real mixture of stuff. It look, look weird. these houses look, look as though they're, well, they look like Tudor style, don't no, they? Like, they look um, like they're like from the uh, 1500s, maybe. Isn't that the Tudor period? Yeah. But then some other stuff is like a lot more modern. So it's kind of like a clash between old and modern. And should there be any doubts at all, look, Tudor Cottage. You've even got the old house. Well, we passed the King's Arms before, and I am kind of desperate for the toilet. So I think it's time that we went in for a pint. We have had our pints and it was from Marlow Brewing Company, Rebellion Beer, I think, and I had the IPA, IPA which you were going to have first of all. And I had the overthrow. The overthrow, which was like a, a blonde sort of beer. And they I were like rather nice. Better. Yes, you could call it a liquid lunch. We're passing by the old market hall again, Paul. You know what this town hall reminds me of? It reminds me of one of the town halls that we used to visit in Oxfordshire. I forgot what where... Tim. You think of Tim no, no, Abingdon, it, where we lived? No, it was like um, Whitney. 
Winton. Wallingford. Wallington? The other one. Wellington. Wellington. Possibly. Maybe one of those. I, oh, I can't for the life of me. But this reminds me of it. The Gardens of Remembrance, Paul. Shall we have a look in here? beautiful flowers and look at this absolutely fabulous clock and this is all looked after by Amersham Town Council absolutely love this fountain as well look at this And look at this fabulous Union flag. Well, we've got one last stop to go Where's and that? visit, and that is Tesco, because in the old town, they actually have a Tesco Superstore. Ah. And our journey home is... Where are you going, Paul? This isn't a maze, you know. Oh, look, there's a lovely peace garden over there, too. This is really nice. And we don't really want to walk back no. to Amersham, so we're hoping that we can get a taxi but we'll see i am about to address all our adoring fans thank you for watching our youtube channel today marcus and i do really appreciate it hit the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed already we also appreciate your likes and comments and until next time we'll see you again later on bye for now